Sometimes, when you're typing a page in Moodle, you'd like to add an inline link, meaning that a word inside your text will serve as a hyperlink to another page. This could be an external web page or even a document you'd like the student to download. Let's see how to use the WYSIWYG editor to add a link inside our text. If I'd like to make the word Moodle a link to the official Moodle website at moodle.org, I first must select the word in question. Then, on my WYSIWYG toolbar, look for the chain link icon to insert or edit a link. Click it once, and a pop-up window will appear. Add the URL to the site you're looking for, such as moodle.org. Then, determine extra settings, such as whether or not this will open in the same window or a new window. You can also add a title here, which will appear when users hover on the link. I might say, for example, visit the official Moodle web page. This is like a preview to my users of what they're going to get when they click on the link. Click Insert, and your word becomes a live link. If I try to click on this link while I'm editing the text, it's not going to take me out to Moodle.org. Don't panic. This is for your benefit. It would get pretty frustrating if every time you accidentally clicked on the word Moodle, you were redirected to the Moodle page. Once you save the page, you'll be able to visit the link. Now let's say I'd like to link to a document, not just an outside web page. Maybe I'd like the words incredibly cost effective to link to a cost study about using Moodle in my school district. First, I'm going to use the same button because I'm still linking, it's just that I'm linking to a file. Instead of putting in a URL, I'm going to click on the small icon over here that allows me to browse my course files. When I click there, I can upload a file or look in my course files to find my document. When I choose my document and say select this file, the URL field is populated with the online web address of that document. Insert, and I'm done. Now you try.